There are two aspects of surgery for any type of tumor. The first, or one, I should say, is a biopsy. And a biopsy, by definition, simply means by any route, whether it's through a small dime-sized hole or a little tiny twist drill type of a hole done in the operating room, that a piece of tissue the size of a grain of rice is collected for tissue diagnosis. That's what a biopsy means. Now, you can have a biopsy done at the time of surgery. What that means is during the full operation known as a craniotomy, which is simply defined as removing bone to create a window into the area of interest, then a piece of tissue can be obtained during the course of removing the tumor, and therefore a biopsy is done that we call a frozen section so that we're able to let the family know at the time of surgery or right afterwards what the initial diagnostic impression is. And then at that point, we carry on with the operative procedure. So the second form of surgery is an open procedure called a craniotomy. And that can be done with the aid of navigation systems. A navigation system is simply nothing more than a GPS system like you use in your car, in which the scan is done with tiny little markers on the scalp beforehand, or no markers are used and just skin landmarks are used at the time of surgery. But essentially, the scan done before surgery is placed on a video screen and then with a little wand the size of a pencil. We can move this during the course of surgery and the tip of that wand is seen as a cursor or an X on the video screen which relates the tip of that wand to any part of the scan done preoperatively. So that's navigation. Or an open craniotomy can be done to remove tumor with the help of intraoperative localization, such as with ultrasound or an intraoperative MRI scanner, but that's an open procedure. So either a biopsy, which is a closed procedure through a little hole, or craniotomy, which is an open procedure.